you've got servers, you need to back them up. And since this is kind of a programming techie show sometimes, let's do it with PowerShell. Hey, this is Tom with Tom's Tech Show, and today we're creating, this episode's going to be kind of about backing up your server, but we're going to do it with PowerShell. We're going to use Windows Server Backup to do it. Um, it comes with Windows, so if you have your server installed, it's an, a feature that you can load, and it does, you know, it does what we needed to do, which is back up our server, and it does some bare metal recovery options and things like that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and installed the Windows Server feature because that kind of bogs things down when it's trying to load that. Um, so in order to get Windows Server backup installed, we type install Windows feature dash name Windows Server backup Windows dash server dash backup. Okay, and then do the dash include all sub features, so that gets us every piece that we need installed in the system. Then we can do things like this. We can do policy. So we do star POL. So we need to create a policy. This is what we're going to use to buy. We create um, a policy or just kind of a template for what we want backed up and how we want it backed up, what all the different pieces of authentication and everything are in this policy. And that allows us to back up our server. We're going to say new wb policy and boom okay so now we have a policy but there's nothing in it if i look at it this object all we've got is there's no schedule there's no target there's no volumes to back up there's nothing there system state no nothing okay so let's start adding some things okay so we need to add uh, wb system state policy policy okay so now when we look at our policy now we see down here this says uh, system state equals true so now we're in our policy we're going to be backing up the system state of our server okay so we can add all these commands that I'm doing all each single every single one of them um, to a script we don't need to look at the policy every time so just the main commands right we'll add that okay so now we need to get the volumes. So our volume is get equals get WB volume all volumes and this will show us the volumes that are on the system and what we want back up. Do we want, you know, if there's a C drive, a D drive, an E drive, or however many drives you have, that's going to come back and be part of this volume. So if I look at my volume variable, I have the two different volumes, the system reserved uh, main kind of mount booth volume and our C drive, which is good. That's what we want to back up. So now we can do add WB volume. So we're going to add the volume to our policy, policy, POL policy, and then we're going to do, it wants the volume and then we're going to add volume. Okay, so we add the volume to our policy. Here, hit enter. Okay, so now it actually displays it, but if we look at our go dollar sign policy here, as we look at our policy, now we have we have the system state being backed up. We have our volumes, the main system reserved, and our local disk C all there ready to back up. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, I need to get some credentials. You can add, so there are ways, and it will be in the, all of this script and all of the commands and everything will be in my Bitbucket account. So if you want to run there and grab it and manipulate it however you want. But we need some credentials to use. So There we go. So now I have a credential because I need to be able to connect to my remote drive. So my target for the backup. So we do target equals new WB backup target. And that's going to be a network path. And this is going to be, since it's here at the house, we're going to be on my home NAS under files backup. Backup credential is going to be the cred that I just entered. So now I have 
the target for where I'm going to put this backup set. Now we need to add that to our backup policy. Like everything, we create the target, create the volumes that we want to back up, and then we add them to the policy. Okay, so add backup target. Of course, this is going to be policy, policy, and then we're going to do target, target. Okay, so now that's going to add that target to our backup. And if you notice, there's a warning here. It says, warning, the backup data cannot be securely protected at this destination. Because this is going to be a remote shared volume, it's just trying to tell you if you don't have the security correct on the other side of where you're storing your data and where you're storing your backup, other people could get to this backup. If you stored it locally on the server, like you added another drive to the server and stored the backup there, that would be one place that was more secure, but um, you won't be able to uh, have it taken kind of off-site and, and off you know, whatever server you're on. Like if this was a virtual server and you're running it and it completely dies, right? The whole server dies. Well, then you, you're not gonna be able to get that back. You want it to be remote off of this, off of this box. It also means you can't do individual file recovery, but you can have a second backup that just backs up the data files and put that local, and then you will be able to do individual file backup. But right now, we're just talking about the system. Okay, so now we have that backup. We have, okay, let's look at our policy again. Okay, okay, oops. All right, so now we have the backup target, which is going to the NAS. We have the volumes to backup, which are the main system reserved and our local disk, and we're backing up the system state. Well, now we need to schedule our backup. So set WB schedule policy is going to be our policy that we're working on. And our schedule, we're gonna do 01 colon 00. So this is going to be setting our schedule at 1 a.m. in the morning to do this backup. So again, if we look at our policy, now we see it's scheduled, we have targets, it's got the volumes to backup, our system state, all that stuff, it's all seems to be good to go. Okay, so now that we have this policy, now we need to just apply that. So we can go and do set WB policy dash policy with our policy object all set and there and ready. So when I do that, this is going to actually take this policy and now finally apply it to the backup system. Okay. So now, boom, it is there. We can do a get WB policy. Then that's going to show us our policy that is in place. But here I see, wait, I want uh, the BMR, bare metal recovery, to be enabled. So we do add bare metal recovery dash policy and put that on there. Now that is in our policies, bare metal recovery, but this has not been applied to the system. We need to again do a set policy in order to get it to be applied. So that's going to take a few seconds to now apply our new policy. Then if we do a get WB policy, then we're going to see all of our settings are now in place. And when this backup is ready at one o'clock in the morning, it's going to back up this server and push it to the NAS. Now, say this is the first time you run it, and we say, no, well, I want to do it now. So we do start WB backup dash policy. So then this is going to actually go out and process and run our first backup. Okay, so now that it's gotten through all of the backup, we can see that it's processed the whole second volume. It's now, operation has been completed. If I switch over to look at my NAS drive, so here's my NAS drive. I was putting this in a folder called Backup. Look at the Backup folder. There's a Windows Image Backup folder in here, and there's a file called Wilbur19, 
which is the name of my server and in here there's a backup and all of my backup files we can see there's two main files here which is the system volume and the C drive are all there backed up ready to be restored if necessary so with this one script I can set up and run a initial backup and now that it's going now it's going to be scheduled and continue to backup all of the time and there's some other settings and features that you want to play around with go ahead and play around with those but this is just the base script setup to get you started all right well that's backing up everything with PowerShell using Windows Server Backup makes it pretty easy to get going um, if you like this video and it helps you out give me a thumbs up make a comment about something else you'd like to see in a video and I'll do my best to make that video. I do have uh, back surgery coming up so uh, end of next week so I won't be able to be making any more videos for a few weeks after that um, but uh, I think I'm gonna make a video about my surgery just to let people know kind of how how it's going and what got me to where I am and and, and everything else so all right so thanks for watching this one take care Thank you.